Hey everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're playing as a pile today uh, because we still need to crank out that Mega Satan win. We got Yam 8 RPQB. That's a very, like, beautiful <laughs> seed. I love every second of it. Oh, well, there's a stat increase. Get a tier upgrade from Farting Baby. I've been thinking about making uh, my top 10 least favorite items in Afterbirth Plus. You know, and by Afterbirth Plus, I mean literally the entire game as a whole. Just like the worst items in the game. I actually think Farting Baby might be the worst item in the game. I know that people are going to argue with me on that one. You know, there's butter beans out there. There's, you know, you know, soy milk occasionally, even though I am one to disagree with that statement ever so slightly. Uh, but I, I really, there is no situation in which I feel that farting baby is the best option for a run ever. It's just not feasible. So that's my opinion there. A lot of money. Okay. I don't like the fact we didn't get a key back. I was kind of banking on that, which I shouldn't have. Random black hearts and spirit hearts from fire. Is that a new thing? Because I'm enjoying that a lot. It happened twice on this run already. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty okay. It's a Friday. Uh, it's definitely not going to be a Friday. Oh, it might be a Friday when this goes up, but it's definitely not the Friday. Anytime close to uh, where I'm recording this, because I have the world's largest Isaac backlog right now. And the reason for that is, uh, whenever I'm, you know, coming back from my morning class, and I'm like, well, I got about an hour and a half to record, what in the world should I record today? My brain automatically goes, well, you should just record Isaac. There's no reason not to. Just record some Isaac, have a happy time with it, uh, and move on through the day. We're also going to move on to the next floor. But it's kind of like, Isaac is the bread and butter, man. If you really have no idea what to eat, you're like, well... I'm hungry, but I really have no clue what I should put into my, you know, gallbladder at this point. What in the world should I do? You're just like, well, you know what? I got some bread. I got some butter. You put a little sea salt on top of the butter. Maybe put a little bit of like olive oil or something. And then all of a sudden you have a nice little snack and you can move on with your day. That's kind of how I feel. Isaac is that little snack that I have to give myself in the morning in order to move on with my day. Plus it allows me, if I miss an upload in a certain category, I don't think anybody here is going to complain about having there be an extra Isaac video for the week. So it's just a win-win situation for everybody, and that means that my backlog is decently high. That's actually the worst bombs or key we've had in a while, because uh, now we do not have a key to go to the shop or the item room. Two things in which I very much so desired to go to so that's good we will pop the strength card likely on a deal with the devil hopefully on a deal with the devil if we can uh have enough items in that deal with the devil to merit uh having to use a strength card to get them that's the hope at least and we will also try to have a void charge ready for the deal with the devil as well i would love to get something like the nail or satanic bible hooked up on a void charge right off the bat here that would be a huge benefit to this run Locust of Wrath. I mean, we might as well. Uh, th these are the exploding ones, right? Yeah. This is the little bit of a sketchier one. I'm not positive this is something that I so desire to have right now. Even though that was really good. I don't know. It's unique. Uh, I suppose we'll roll with it. Super Secret Room contains, you know, keys is really all I needed here. Wait for uh, yo mama to come down. Blow her up. We will. You know, we have the bombs. But there's no reason to not take the two seconds to do this. We get a key back from it. This is beautiful. We also get a luck upgrade. Let's go find our item room and our shop. Uh, we are spending a little bit of extra time on this floor. But I think that everybody here can agree that this is for a good reason. A lot of money makes uh, going to the... Eh, we'll come in here. We do not have any spirit hearts left. So be a little bit cautious with your wrath boy. Polyphemus, okay. I don't think anybody here is going to complain about that pull. Let's get this key, just so that we got keys for the next floor as well. Uh, and then we are absolutely, absolutely, absolute coconuts and limes and oranges going to attempt to buy a spirit heart from our shop. I mean, this is basically the most important uh, spirit heart we can get. We do get one. We buy this. It's Crooked Penny. Is that something that I so desire to void? The answer to that is I think no. I know that Crooked Penny is apparently good, 
Uh, but I'm not really seeing why it's something that I would like to have right now. Because isn't it 50-50 chance to double everything or get rid of something uh, and replace it with a... See, that's why Locust or Wrath is a little bit on the bliss side for me. Caffeine Pill's good. Pretty Fly is good. Spirit Heart is good. Come in here. We have no idea what this is, uh, which means that we will absolutely be taking it. It's not usually how that goes, but we do take it. It's Book of Sin. I think that this is something that you totally uh, play once. Beautiful. We get a key from it. Uh, and then you also void it, get a heart from it. That's fine. You know, we now have something that makes it worth popping the void. It's not exactly uh, the best scenario in the world, but you know what? It is a play on the void nonetheless. I'm excited. That's pretty horrible. Let's fight this room. We get... I mean, that's like a pretty decent trinket. Locust of Wrath. I, I want to give these stupid locusts their fair shake, though. I feel like I never give new trinkets a fair shake. And I want to make sure that's something that I'm doing in the afterbirth of the plus. Because how will we ever know uh, whether or not there's some incredible trinkets in Afterbirth Plus if we don't try out all of them? And I know that there are some, like, really good ones. Uh, like, Dim Bulb and Lit Bulb are both pretty okay in my book. As they can basically be all stat increases if you have a certain uh, array of items. Retro Vision. See, that's why Locust of Wrath, I, I like it, and I, it's basically like a Bob's Brain. Yeah, here we go. It's basically a Bob's Brain. When you get right down to it. Except you really have like less control over it. Because it's just going to fly out and try and kill you right off the bat. It's a little sketch. Not positive I enjoy. It did give us a free key. So one's not going to complain too too much about it. I don't think Burnt Penny is exactly what we need either. We do not have a... Uh, do not have a... What in the hell is the word I'm looking for? Spirit Heart is the word I'm looking for good on me uh we do not have a spirit heart for sale so we are going to let's just fight the boss it's gertie yeah i was gonna say please send the locust of wrath right into gertie we should not get hit on this fight we fought gertie nine million times in our lives if we get hit here that's just depressing honestly it's gonna be a little bit of a slow fight we need a tears upgrade out uh, basically immediately you know, this is not exactly the uh, greatest <laughs> tiers stat we've ever had. Now, we do have the incredible damage from Polyphemus, but a little bit of tier stat's going to go a long way on this one. We get a deal. Magic Scab is an HP up. We come in here. I will take this. It's Ghost Baby. That's not good at all, uh, but it is still an item. Items are going to help us. It does contribute to... Uh... Oh, we can carry two trinkets, you dummy. We picked up Belly Button. Now, what do we want? Uh, I think the ability to get more money is more valuable to us. So we will stick with Locust of Wrath. We'll stick with Counterfeit Penny. Try and get some more money to make our shops uh, that much better. Screw that room with a passion. I really hate every second of it. See, here's more money. And we're already, like, the benefit from uh, Lucky Penny is doing great. Or whatever, Counterfeit Penny. Same thing, really. It's lucky, it's counterfeit. It's all the same, really. Okay. Uh, Fly, you want to go do stuff? Thank you. It's just like it's causing me to uh, limit my dodging a little bit. Because I automatically focus all my attention to not getting hit. Is this our secret room? It is. Uh, I focus all my attention towards not getting hit by the stupid... Uh... What, what are the odds that we get a steam cell from blowing up this guy? pretty low right but i don't want to blow myself up with the locust of wrath so it's limiting my dodging a little bit uh in the process which is not good and that's like causing me to think that this trinket might not be uh as in there we go again uh as incredible as i originally deemed it as the other locusts i think are pretty okay uh i just haven't played around with them enough to give you a for sure situation here the bible Book of Secrets. Well, there's Bookworm. I think you blow up the key beggar. And I think you pop 
the void on these. I understand uh, that now if we pop the void on uh, chocolate milk. Wow, our damage is going to be so stupid. But if we pop the void on... Uh, Ma, not mom, Satan, which we're not going to go to, then we're going to be screwed. Oh, we are. We might go to Satan. I forgot about this. We now have Locust to Pestilence. Let's roll with the double Locust. I th completely forgot that we're not supposed to be taking deals with the devil. So now our only way of uh, getting, did we take the item in here? No, let's take it. The candle. I don't think we need that. My brain's a little frazzled, I'm sorry. Okay, our damage is going to be stupid. But, uh, we need to stack up HP and get a self-sacrifice room. That's the only way we're going to get the key pieces on this run, uh, is through the self-sacrifice room. Which I think is kind of, you know, at this point, that's how everybody gets the key pieces is the self-sacrifice room. But, uh, nonetheless, we need to start stacking up HP because our HP is pretty low. I actually think chocolate milk was a godsend for us because our tier stat, you know, while our tier stat is still very bad, we'll be able to kind of control a little bit uh, how our tiers go because we can fire out some little smaller ones that do less damage, but the damage is still very high. So that's the benefit here. Bombs are key is very useless for us. This might be the item room. No, it's not. It's a curse room. I mean, as much as I would love to, I feel like we can't. You know, we don't have the HP for me to really feel like going to that curse room is the right play. If we get Magic Mush here, uh, just get ready for our damage to be so off the charts on this run. Instead, we get the ability to get uh, some mapping from the Mushroom. But I I still want to try, kind of try to play out this uh, double Locust run that we got going on right now. Moses would be proud of us. I think that's the best way to play it. We still have our strength card. We can use that on a deal with the devil. Uh, frankly, we should have probably used it on the deal with the devil on the last floor to get benefit. But I wasn't thinking straight in my dome piece. So here we are now. Item room. I mean, frankly, anything that gives us HP at this point. You want to give me the body? That would be beautiful. Tears down. Just in case our tier stat couldn't get any worse. Blue Baby's only friend, I think, is good enough to take uh, simply because it can be a passive damage dealer that doesn't rely on our tier stat. But then again, like, we're kind of in a situation the damage is off, the chain's good. We shouldn't be concerned about damage. You know, tier stat, I wouldn't mind having a higher bit, but uh, as a whole, we're in a pretty good spot here. Spirit Hearts are God's gift from heaven at this point. So we will feel blessed by that situation. One hit kills us, so that's good that we didn't bite the dust right there. I swear to God, I did place a bomb. Okay, we didn't have a bomb. Oh, that's good. 10 out of 10 play by Tyler right there. Uh, we take Black Candle for sure. I think you take Stopwatch for sure. Uh, you get a luck upgrade for sure. And then we have enough batteries to literally do anything we want uh with battery charges on this so we'll see what this is frankly i feel obligated to take the hp up but let's re-roll it we get hp from it so that works out well we get a higher luck stat i am going to simply pop uh all of these battery charges in the hopes of getting infested that's not what i had the hopes of getting but in the hopes of getting a bomb from book of sin I think we do go to the arcade for a couple seconds. This is not at all what I desired from this arcade. So thank you very much, but please come again. Uh, all right, let's just head down. We are in a little bit of a weird situation, honestly. Uh, we don't have HP. We have enough damage to literally fulfill the rest of this run. We're on track for boss rush, uh, but frankly, boss rush is not my number one concern at all right now. Since we're in a situation where I think you do do this. Wow, the benefit was very low. We're in a situation where the womb is going to start to be incredibly dangerous for us. You know, we're losing at least a heart every room right now because of the damn locust. You know what? I think that that's an acceptable time. If I can literally say that, you know, we're losing HP because of this, I think that's a good time to say goodbye to the trinket. 
You know, we're in a situation, we need the HP to make this run work. You know, we're not getting to Mega Satan and doing a self-sacrifice room if we don't stack up these damn spirit hearts. So, why not just get rid of the trinket? You know, I gave it its fair shake. I don't think it's a trinket that I'm going to desire to pick up a whole hell of a lot anymore. But, uh, as a whole, I enjoyed my time I had with it. We will go to our double key room. Double key room is a, uh, item pedestal reroll, which could be very good, uh, if this item in here sucks, which it does. Let's go find the shop and see what's crack lacking in there, and then we can probably pop this, uh, reroll in an attempt to get some better items rolling. Does the, uh, pedestal four room reroll shop items that haven't been bought yet? That is an interesting question, and one that I would like to figure out here very soon. And I believe we will just figure this out by uh, <laughs> by exercising our ability to do so. We don't have a key. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, I've played very crappy with my consumables on this run. At least I feel like it. I feel like we've used keys in places we shouldn't have. I feel like we've used bombs in places we shouldn't have. We've used bombs or key pill in places we shouldn't have. And now we're in a situation where uh, we don't have the necessary consumables to make certain things on this run work. Matchstick is not good enough. I think you just fight the boss now. We'll get that item reroll on the floor as well. Sister Vis is no longer uh, a horrible boss to get. You know, it is still a slightly annoying boss. Please don't do that ever again. And then please die. Thank you. We didn't get a deal with the devil. I'm starting to get a little bit pissed at this. Uh, even though, let's be fair, we probably shouldn't be hoping for the deals. Let's, uh, let's go back, try to find a key. I'm starting to get really annoyed by that. Wow. Uh... To spend the time to uh, try not to get hit and then go step on spikes. That's basically my life. Uh, we did lose our eternal heart, which is a absolute, basically catastrophe at this point on this run. So thank God I'm good at Isaac. Uh, I really am proud of myself for that one. One singular half heart. No keys? You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, uh, where is the secret room? Secret room's gonna be right here. Secret room's gonna be right here. Okay, we get a greed fight. That's good, but it's not fantastic for us, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, we, we could literally die right here. Okay, we didn't, so that's good. Reroll this, uh, come up here, and prayer card. At least we get our eternal heart back, I suppose. Except it has no charge. You, you serious right now? Pop the charge on that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to void this guy. That will give us a... We got a black heart. That's beautiful. Uh, and now we basically, every battery charge on this floor, just continue to pop the crap out of these. Amnesia, I don't care. We don't need it. Uh, and then battery charges are here. Give me the HP, man. I've never been happier. This is really good. We also got a key back. We can come in here. Deck of cards. I think you buy the spirit heart. You take deck of cards. Uh, you pop it once. You get a moon card. You have no charge on the void. I would love to void deck of cards, but I don't think we have a uh, battery charge left on this floor. So you just head down. Moon card is to teleport out of boss rush. Uh, if we can even make it to boss rush, which is looking like we probably could if we uh, really, really rush here. We get a random error room type situation. Justice, blow this up. Beautiful, get a ton of benefit. Get your moon card and book it. I think you honestly, you go full on try hard trying to get the boss rush right now. I stand by the fact that a pollen boss rush is a 10 out of 10 type of thing to do. And something you should inquire to do at all times. So I stand by my word. I will go and do boss rush. I'm not necessarily wanting to do do boss rush. I just said do do on camera and made it seem like an intelligent thing to say. That's impressive. 
Uh, but we are looking to teleport out, and we have the moon card, so it's not really uh, that bad of a situation. There's the item room. I honestly think you just say screw it to the item room right now and full on make it to uh, boss rush. We will make it as long as this is the way to the uh, boss, which it is. Okay, we're totally in the clear. We will make boss rush. Uh, we should get our deal with the devil, which I would be okay with trading away some HP for. You know, I know that we were trying to get HP, but we got time to get HP. You know, we're going to be stacking it up now because of every time we get a battery charge, we could be getting a red heart. Which is a good state to be in. Okay, we're good, we're good. Mom is dead. Alright, we get our deal. We take the... I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll take the Polaroid. We'll take Sack Dagger. Uh, and then we will go into Boss Rush. Fingered, Little Chubby, Capricorn, and Money Equals Power. Well, two of these are much better than the others, I will say that. I think you take Capricorn. Uh, yeah, you take Capricorn. It gives you damage, it gives you tears. It gives you some benefit. And then you take this. I think that's acceptable. Uh, and now you just finish up the rest of this floor. Go to your item room, go to your shop, do stuff along those lines. If there's a self-sacrifice room, this might be the best time to try to play it, uh, since we have some HP. I, I really don't know why I knocked that uh, bomb out of the way. I also don't know why I knocked that one out of the way. It's a damn ghost baby, man. Blame ghost baby. Hashtag blame ghost baby. Get that going in the comments. Hashtag blame ghost baby. When in doubt, it's probably ghost baby's fault. Okay. Bomb and coin. It's a good life. It's not the good life by Kanye West or good life by One Republic, but it is a good life nonetheless. Come in here. Uh, little chest. I don't. We just got a minus eight tears up from that. Are you actually kidding me right now? That's beautiful. Sackhead is gorgeous. Uh, we can get some HP right away from it. As well as getting a singular bomb. Fish head is eh. Although we could carry it. There's no reason not to, I suppose. Uh, besides just inevitably not caring. Which is kind of where I'm at right now. Damage is filthy. I mean, that, that's the main ticket on this one. Is the damage is super filthy on this run. Ghost baby, we almost blamed you. So many battery charges. Alright, we're, we're in the clear on HP now. We're in the clear on creating random consumables as well. Bombs are key is useless. Pretty Fly is good, even though I'm not positive it does anything. Yeah, it literally doesn't. Don't blame Ghost Baby here. Come down. I mean, three Spirit Hearts. I don't believe this angel gives you uh, wings like Red Bull, but uh, I don't believe this angel gives you the key piece. It does not. Instead, it gave me a sack which contained a key, which I suppose is uh, not equivalent to a key piece, but it is something. And then I think you just go down. Uh, that was a really fantastic floor for us. We're now sitting at full HP. All we really need to do is find a self-sacrifice room on this run, uh, and we're going to be fine on getting our key pieces. We're obviously fine on damage. I think that this is a win, and a Mega Satan win at that, which will be very good. We'll be able to be officially done uh, with post-its. Which is something that I didn't really think I'd say for a while, but we will be there. And then we basically just have to do a looping run and get far in it. Uh, and then we have to do the challenges. I'll probably be doing the challenges next and then doing a looping run on a live stream sometime. Since I have a feeling that's going to take a little bit longer. So we can do that on stream, get some good stuff going out of it. Tyler, why have you decided to be bad? It's a really good question. Thank you for your concern. Go up. Uh, I mean, we're, we're clearing these rooms with basically relative ease. You know, a higher tier stat would do a little bit of good for us. You know, get some better charged up chocolate milk shots. But is there really any room for me to complain on this run? I don't think so. Are we going to do hush? That's a really fantastic question. This isn't a very hushable run, 
if I'm being honest. You know, chocolate milk is not the greatest hush type item, but since our damage is so good, I think it's something that I would debate. Plus, we have so much money, we can make the shop, uh, you know, worth our while for hush. So it's going to be kind of a game time decision. If we have the HP when we get to the hush fight, uh, then I think it might be in our best interest to just do it. Nike style. Not any other style, just Nike style. I don't really think the champion heart is the best thing for us either here. As it literally will just give us harder enemies uh, for consumables that we already have. So it's it's not really the greatest benefit for us. Hermit card. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned that we like have not seen a self-sacrifice room. Pop this. That's going to get so annoying. There might be a self-sacrifice room on this floor. We're going to go back. You know, if we don't even make it to Hush, that's a completely different scenario, I suppose. Ace of Hearts is not valuable. High Priestess could be valuable. And I think probably more valuable than whatever the hell I was holding before. Because if I don't even remember what I was holding, chances are it's not really the greatest thing for us. If we can get uh, straight up penetrative shots in this run. You know, I know we have sort of penetrative shots with Polyphemus, but full on would be beautiful. I also think this is beautiful. If this pops out Cricket's head, uh, we're going to have a happy-go-lucky time on this one. Instead, it didn't. It just popped out a lot of sacks, a lot of runes, a lot of uh, keys, HP. We got tears, or we got keys back from this, which is good. We do have algae's, which is probably better than anything else, uh, and probably guarantees that I will do hush if we make it to hush, as it basically guarantees a hush victory. Uh, we can just stand on it and do shenanigans with the. Uh, Sack Dagger. So I think that's acceptable. Please just have a self-sacrifice room at the end of this. You know, that would make everything okay. I don't want to get, have this incredible run again and then basically end up uh, not being able to... Please? No, but this is unique. Uh, this could be our Prime Alges kind of situation instead. Self-sacrifice room could still be this one in the top left. We're going to definitely do something with that room. I just don't know what yet. This was not a self-sacrifice room. So basically we need... It's a one out of uh, two chance to get one. I'm not positive that's how the probability works here. But it's basically 50-50. Uh, if we get one... How do we want to do this? We could literally void those get the benefit, and then slam ourselves into the poop. Now, we ain't, we can fly now. Does this spawn stuff back? I'm going with a probable no. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that that doesn't spawn things back. So instead, we just got the benefit from uh, voiding it. I think that that's still pretty okay. We will take Callus. We could go to the secret room, but I don't think that's beneficial. Let's just head down... Uh, and then hope that there's a self-sacrifice room on the next floor. That's my ticket right now. Alges is still very good. Uh, and if we can make it to Hush, which it's seeming less likely that we will, just because of time, uh, then we can use the Alges there. If not, you know, if we get the key pieces, using it on Mega Satan's not the end of the world, uh, as it still is very good for us. But we'll try our best to find this self-sacrifice room. If we don't get one, uh, then Cathedral better save us. But, uh, self-sacrifice rooms on the cathedral is kind of just like, you know, this is our last resort kind of situation. We did just lose our deal with the devil chance. I don't really think that that's the end of the world. Uh, we don't need any other items on this run. You know, we, we're basically pretty okay with the situation as is. It's very unique having to, uh, pop <laughs> the damn horse every time we, uh, use the thing i love it i think it's stupidly great red hearts is not really that beneficial come down this is not that beneficial better deal with the devil chance i sure sure i guess is fine joker two of spades not super good okay where if i was a self-sacrifice room can we see now i think i don't think we can see special rooms so let's uh 
Can, can we see him now? I don't think so. We'll go to the curse room. Curse room contains a lot of keys. Can't help but notice our luck stat's also incredible on this one. You know, if we can get that to uh, correlate to an item of some sort. So that we can actually utilize the luck. I would love it. Too bad the situation right now is just telling me that we are never going to get any luck related stuff. That's usually how it is. If you have a run where you have high luck, you're not going to get any luck related stuff. Now, we are getting, you know, massive consumable drops. But that's also like, the benefit there is pretty low as we have a butt ton of consumables on this run. Part of me is wishing that we picked up uh, money equals power. Because if you haven't noticed, money's off the charts good. Okay, this is fine. Going to Hush also provides us with the ability to uh, get Dad's key, which could be the ticket. No self-sacrifice room. All right, Cathedral, you better help me here. I mean, I suppose it could be up there still. We'll, we'll take a look. I mean, you might as well, right? No, screw that. This is not a self sac It could still be up the top. Now that I saw that we can get that room and it didn't show us where all these rooms are, uh, there's a decent chance here that our self-sacrifice room could be up top. I am looking at the clock and I'm like, you know, I'd like to speed up ever so slightly here just to ensure we make it to Hush if there's no self-sacrifice room. Oh, yeah, this is the boss. Duh. Uh, that's not a self-sacrifice room. Okay, uh, we'll fight Mom. We will do Hush. Much to my sort of chagrin. But I think trying to get dad's key here is the benefit. We don't get a deal that's, you know, basically known. And then let's go do hush. Okay. We'll see what happens. The get out of jail free card also does it. If we can swing that. Guppy's heads, you know, that's pretty good. No get out of jail free. Hagalaz, we will come in here. I mean, Tech Point 5 is going to be stupidly powerful. We get a Crawl Space. That's unique. Black Market? No, but a reroll in here, I honestly think, though, you'd just take Mysterious Liquid. I mean, the damage is really good now. Uh, it was really good before. Tech Point 5 is going to be doing stupid damage. And then $3 bill or just Void them. I think you just Void them. Another Luck Upgrade. We get Bogo Bombs. Magician. We'll pop Magician on Hush. But otherwise, I'm kind of like... I, I feel like we may have struck out a little bit here. You know, Battery Charge, we're definitely going to suck up uh, Guppy's head. I don't think we picked it up, though, so that's an interesting situation where... Uh, I mean, I think Alges is the right choice, but Magician is going to be fun, so we're going to do that. I don't think we were in the position to get Guppy on this run anyway, so who cares? I mean, is doing this guy from a distance the right choice, or... No, I think I think you you still pile in the shots here. This is going to be a very fast hush fight, is my uh, understanding of it. Ow. That did hurt a little bit. Everything's slowed now, though, so this is going to be very easy. I forgot we picked up stopwatch. Uh, this is going to be simple. Just pile in the damage. Tech point 5 is going to put in the work. Obviously, Polyphemus is going to put in the work. Uh, plus... The fact that we have Mysterious Liquid, that's going to be doing constant damage as well. I'm not concerned. This is fine. Uh, it's just a matter now of there being a self-sacrifice room on the damn cathedral. Or getting Dad's keys from the chest. You know, we have a high luck stat. It's not inconceivable for us to get that. It's just like a little bit, you know, that's hoping for a... That's not studying for a test and then hoping you get an A. It's just not really, you know, I I was bad. I took the deals with the devil. I should have taken the uh, angel rooms and just ignored it. But we didn't. And we got to pay the consequences. And the consequences might be that we uh, don't get Mega Satan done here. And so we just have a really fun, easy Apollon run. Which I can, you know, I can respect that. You know, I'm having a good time right now. But, uh, would have been nice to complete the post-its today. And it's still not po it's still possible, you know, I shouldn't count it out yet. It's still very possible that we complete the post-its. Try to get Sack Dagger in here. You know, is he putting in work? I don't think so. I think now he might. 
Yeah, it's like definitely on him. Get as high as you can here. It's not something that I thought I'd say on the internet, but there you go. And we're doing fine. Is it better to just spam shots at this guy? I have no idea. It might be. I might be getting carpal tunnel, but I think like doing some medium sized ones, get them in there. I don't know, man. Whatever happens, uh, we are going to beat Hush with ease here. You know, I would like it if we had full HP, but we're also going to be able to basically clear the cathedral uh, with our eyes closed. So I'm not, oh, those still go at normal speed. That's a little bit on the uh, BS side of life, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, this is the hardest part of Hush. Because it's a lot of dodging, but with the slowed down everything, makes it significantly easier. Just skirt your way around these. Beautiful. Hush, back up. Uh, we should be able to knock him out right now. Okay. Uh, what's the plan for the cathedral? Do every room. We, we have to. We're looking for the self-sacrifice room. Uh, if you get a Perthro rune, you save it. If you get a Yara rune, you save it. What else? Uh, I think the sun is our, like, ideal situation here. Because we can automatically see everything on this floor. So let's head up. And then we will pop the sun in the first room. And then hope we see the beautiful self-sacrifice room glow. Do we see it? We don't. That's not very promising to me. I think we would have seen it if uh, it was popped. So now we're basically in the realm of hoping for a... Wow. Uh, we're in the realm of hoping for a dad's key pull. It's not the best situation to be in, if I'm being honest with you. But oh well. Uh, we will go to the cursed room. You know, maybe. Just maybe. It'll pop out something that we could possibly use. Popped out a singular black heart. And a singular red heart. Alright. Killing it. Uh, phew, what's the plan? Does anybody have a good plan? Getting more sacks? Hoping that one of those sacks gives a uh, get out of jail free card? Is that the prayer right now? That's not a great uh, whoa whoa halfway there. Whoa whoa lemon and a pear? Okay. Pretty fly for the 900th time. Secret room contains, I mean, this is an odd secret room. It contains an item we really don't need. I don't even know why I took it. I should have avoided it. Why are we doing this room? That's another really good question. So far, all these questions are ones I don't have answers for. Good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel at this point, go to the boss. Oh, uh, actually, we, we couldn't fly before, so now we can. Uh, Transcendence, I suppose, was a fine pickup. Sack. I get out of jail free is basically like, it's the end all be all of this run. We get that, life is beautiful. Otherwise, it's just kind of like life sucks. We pray for dad's key, but other than that, uh, not much we can do about this. I blame myself. I'm not, I'm not going to deny that. I do blame myself. It's just still slightly disappointing, I'd say. Stellar bomb placement, really? Okay. I mean, more sacks is kind of just all we want right now. As that gives the best chance at a get-out-of-jail-free card to come. Nope. Okay, uh... Let's just go fight Isaac here. And then hope we have the world's best chest in the world. World's best in the world. A little redundant, but you get the gist. Let's do it. Come in. We can probably just stand here with Sack Dagger uh, and clear the first uh, wave here. We could. Beautiful. A little bit sketchy, but not something I haven't done before. And Isaac is dead. Okay, head down, and everybody uh, start start wishing. Is there a star in the sky? Because I, I'm laying a wish on it. Sad Onion, I forget me now is the dream. You know, we have the ability to get four more items here. I will take the whiz. Why not, man? I, it's, it's stupid. I like it. We are going to get rid of the void. But I think that that's acceptable uh, to get four more chances at this damn thing. 
Oh, we could have just voided uh, Thingamajiggy and kept the void, but that's okay. Well, that that's, like, really bad. I mean, Inf Infestation 2 is great. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... I should have done all of the rooms on the chest in the hopes of getting uh, Dad's key to come out of one of them. That's my bad. We could have had double the chances here. Little Gertie's good. I mean, it's not good, but it's fine. That's my bad. I botched that. Should have played that differently. Uh, we are getting a decent amount of chests, though. So there's at least benefit to be had there. We're basically just hoping for that Dad's key to pop out right now. Is it going to? Don't get your hopes up. But we, we can pray. I mean, is there any other... It's just the get out of jail free that we have a chance. And we can pop the world. We can see our secret room. We are going to do every single room uh, before we call it quits on this one. Just in case. Shard glasses. You know, it's okay. It's not really something I... Stay up at night really dreaming about. Tears are starting to be, like, stupidly large. It's a shame. Because this run is so good uh, in terms of literally everything else. But we're not going to be able to get... A Holy cow. We're not going to be able to get our number one dream. Oh, yeah. I'm taking Tiny Planet. Yeah, th this, this is exactly what I've wanted from life. Honestly. It's beautiful. Oh, well. Uh, at least we had a fun run. You know, that's a plus. Is this run was definitely a good one. Am I hiding my disappointment well? <laughs> that's what I would really like to know. But the God's rune. It's so just not valuable. Alright, fight the boss, but we're not going to uh, enter the chest. Just quite yet. We can go to the void... But I don't think, I mean, if we uh, don't get anything, then I'm definitely just going to go to the void and we'll extend this run a little bit uh, and at least have a fun delirium win out of it. But, uh, oh, I thought I, there for a second there, I was like, they've done it. But instead, instead they just slapped me in the face repeatedly. Okay. Another one? No. DJ Khaled, where you at though? I would really like it if you could hit me up with that dank luck right now. I mean, magic mush. It's not really uh, what we need here, but... Please? No. Okay. Oh, God, game. Why? Why'd you have to do this to me? We still have a chance. No, we don't. We have no chance. There's no way Dad's key comes out of either of these last two rooms. And then just wipe away all my dreams by having there not be a chest drop. Yep. Alright. Super secret room? Uh, where are you? I mean, frankly, you could be in here. In any of these situations. No? Okay. You could be up here. Are you here? No, you're not. Are you over here? You could be. You could be here. You could be here. No. Okay. You could be... You could be down here. How about right here? How about right here? Not feeling it? Are you feeling this spot? No. Are you feeling... I'm feeling like right here, actually. No. We are running out of bombs. It could be... I mean, it could be straight up off of this guy. No. It's probably going to be off of one of these guys. How about right here? No. You know, how about we just look on the final room? And right here. Wow. Well, Bob's Curse gives us five more chances. Right there. Right here. Hey! Okay. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that floor. We are going to go to the void, just for kicks and giggles, really. Extend this run a little bit. There is no way of us fighting Mega Satan anymore, so this is really just, uh, we're playing the void for fun, which is not something that I ever thought I'd say in my life. So the faster we find, uh, Delirium, the better here. The damage is filthy. 
The damage is a little weird. I'm not going to deny that. But uh, it's definitely very good. The faster we do these, the faster we get a Awas, or uh, Al not Alges, Ansu's ruin, the better. Please be Delirium. Mom's heart. Wow. Rip. Homing bombs. Not really what I'm looking for, but sure. Delirium. Blue baby. For the second time. Rip. Moldy bread. Not really what we're looking for either. This is like, how fast can you do the void? The answer is, right now, pretty fast. Please provide me with another boss. Here we go. And boss is Triacnid. He always appears on this damn floor. Cursed Eye seems like a horrible idea. So we're not going to do it. Thank you for the Spirit Heart. Too bad I've literally not been able to pick up Spirit Hearts for a good, like, 15, 20 minutes on this run. Maybe more. Monstro 2 gave us raw freaking liver. Alrighty then. Uh, We've gone through four bosses? Of all the times to not find Delirium immediately? Of course, this had to be it. Sister Vis again. Gave us another book. Which just is stupid at this point. There could be a boss here. There's not. There could be a Ansu's rune somewhere. It's always Ansu's rune somewhere. Did that meme not work? I don't think so. I mean, strength is obviously good to fight Delirium with. It just seems like we're immune to everything at this point. I know that I, as I was in the middle of that sentence, I got hit. But, uh, still, it's, it's a little dumb. It's a shame, honestly. I know I keep saying it, and you're probably like, okay, Tyler, we get it. You're freaking pissed off that, uh, you can't get a damn win here. Oh, you can't get a damn Mega Satan win. Here we go. Okay, pop strength, and then just go to town on this guy. Somebody did comment and say that Delirium just has 10,000 HP, so he doesn't have any armor scaling. He just has a lot of HP. So in this case, we're basically just, like, demolishing this guy. I'm not even caring about getting hit, because there's really no reason for me to. When we really, like, charge this up, the screen's a little stupid, if I'm being honest. That's pretty good, though. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little bit of delirium to get your day going. Uh, this does mean, however, we do have to do another Apollo run. <laughs> Which is a little bit frustrating, uh, but that's life as a whole. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.